The cause for this is due to the fact that Entrust SSL TLS certificates do not include a private key. The private key resides on the server that generated the Certificate Signing Request, or CSR. When installed correctly, the server certificate will match up with the private key as displayed here. If the private key is missing, the message indicating a good correspondence with the private key will be missing as shown here. A missing private key could mean that the certificate is not installed at the same server that generated the CSR, that the pending request was deleted from IIS, or that the certificate was installed through the certificate import wizard rather than through IIS. So the solution to this issue would be related to one of these items just mentioned. In this video, we won't discuss how to determine the cause behind the missing private key, only the solution to recovering it. So let's solve the issue. It's not that complicated, so let's get started. To recover the private key, follow this procedure. Note that this is a three-part process including three broad sections. First, the snap-in configuration. Second, importing the server certificate. And third, recovering the private key. So let's start with part one of three, the snap-in configuration. Use the following steps to add the certificate snap-in. Select Start, then search for Run. Once it is open, type in MMC and click OK. This will open Microsoft Management Console, or MMC. From the File menu, choose Add Remove Snap-in. In the new window that appears, select Certificates, then select Add. Next, choose the Computer Account option and select Next. Select Local Computer, then click Finish. Click Close, then OK, and the Snap-in for Certificates appears in the console under Certificates Local Computer. Now let's move on to Part 2 of 3, Importing the Server Certificate. Use the following steps to import your server certificate into the Personal Certificate Store. If the server certificate has already been imported into the Personal Store, you may skip this step. Still in the MMC console, begin this process by expanding the certificate's local computer tree in the left preview panel. Right-click on Personal, then All Tasks, Import. On the wizard that opens, browse to the location of your server certificate file and click Next. Select Place all certificates in the following store and make sure that the selection is Personal and then click Next. Click Finish to complete the certificate import wizard. A dialog box appears indicating that the import was successful. Click OK to end this Part 2 of 3. Now moving on to Part 3 of 3, which is recovering the private key. So use the following steps to recover the private key using the Search Util command. So first, locate your server certificate file by opening Microsoft Internet Information Services Manager. Then on the right side, select Tools then Internet Information Services IIS Manager. Once in IIS Manager, select your server, then on the right side, Server Certificates. You will see all the certificates currently listed on that server. Scroll over the certificate you are trying to install, right click on that, then select View. Here you can view the certificate information, and note that there is no indication of a good correspondence with the private key, thus confirming that the private key is missing. We want to move to the Details tab, specifically to the serial number. Either write down this number, or leave this window open, as we will need it to recover the private key. Next, we will need to open a command prompt. 
you will need to do so as an administrator. In order to open Command Prompt as an administrator, select Start and then Open All Apps. Under Windows System, find Command Prompt and right-click on that and then Run as Administrator. Confirm the action and continue. Now, the first thing you want to do is make sure you are in the right directory. In order to change directories, use the cd command to change directories to the correct one, as I am doing here. You will need to know the correct directory for your server in order to make this change. Now that I'm in the right place, I can use the certutil command to recover my private key. Enter the following command prompt. certutil space dash repair store space my space and then the serial number corresponding to your certificate with the spaces removed. Enter the command line and hit enter. If Windows is able to recover the private key, you will see the message CertUtil colon dash repair store command completed successfully. And that's it. Note that if your private key was recovered successfully, your server certificate installation is also now complete. If the private key was not recovered successfully, you will need to generate a new certificate signing request and submit it to Entrust Data Card to have your certificate reissued or if you use self-managed abilities in an ECS Enterprise account, you will have to reissue the certificate using those abilities.